still so sensitive. Why are you doing this to me? Sorry. Tell me, what do you mean you're sorry? In them. Are you trying to kill my baby? What are you talking about? Oh, please be honest. You think I don't see that? You openly show that you hate me since I got into this house. You think I hate you? It is not what I think. It is what I know. You know, you're always pretending. Checking up on me, looking at my stomach, and then you're trying to make me eat that poisonous stuff. When did all that happen, Sharon? When did all that happen? your potential smiles. I know the plans that you have for me and my baby. But let me tell you something. It will not work. We are beyond your reach. Sharon. Sharon. Mm -hmm. It's enough. Please, I am begging you. Go back to the kitchen and continue cooking for your husband. He will soon be back. Oh. Please. Sharon. It's enough. Go back here. I see, I, all this pretense that you are making, I can see through it. But let me tell you something. All your secrets will be exposed. Do you understand? <laughs> Just a reminder. Hmm? I am now here. And I am going to be here for a very, very long time. So get used to it. Nonsense. Open this door or gate or whatever. Sorry, sir. Ah. Where's the Ah. What? I'm never, ever going on a road walk with you. What? What did I do? You just said, 
one kilometer. So how did one kilometer turn out to be 10 kilometers? Look at you. All your muscles just wasting away. Just 10 kilometers and you're complaining like this. Eh? Let's go in. Wait. I'm what? even famished and exhausted. I hope the food is ready. Yeah, let's go in then. Uh, there is something very important I want to discuss with you. We'll talk about it later, not now. No, no. Now. Look, it's really important. And besides, I don't want us to discuss in front of the women. All right, why don't we meet later on at the club? Don't worry, you will not have to drink. Hmm? Besides, it will give us a chance to have a brother-to-brother -brother talk. Hmm? Okay, all right. Let's go. <sighs> but I'm not going on a road walk with you. No, never. I'm your boss, remember? Yeah, I know, I know. So did you get to talk to your brother? No. No, I didn't get the chance. You were jogging with him all morning and you didn't get a chance to tell him? He was running too fast. Always ahead of me. And you couldn't stop him to tell him it was important? I told him. Anyways. We're meeting tonight at, um, what was the name of that place? Cafe, Bar and Grills. Hmm? You're going to that place? Just to talk with my brother. Nothing else. Wait, you think I'll just go there and sit down to drink? Come on. What? Okay. You want me to go upstairs and talk to him while his wife is there? No. I'm saying that you should have talked to him during the road walk. Well, I told you. He was running too fast. That guy is always ahead of me. Hmm. Isn't he always ahead of you in everything in life? I lost my appetite. What's that supposed to mean? You heard me. Sharon! Yes. From the expression in your face, I'll ask, what do you want? Actually, there is something I want us to talk about. Where are you going? I'm going to rest my nerves for a little bit before I go out. So you don't want to hear what I want to talk about? In them, um, forget it. I know what you want and I'm not ready to hear it. Yeah, um, it almost it leaded me. Um, I'll be getting in some aid to help out in the house very soon. She resumes tomorrow. Aid? What's this aid all about? Why are you bringing it up all of a sudden? Well, I figured uh, there are too many things going on in the house. So I uh, might need uh, more hands to help out in things of the house. As you can see, the house is very big. Really? Yes. She resumes tomorrow. Eat. 
I agree to meet you here because um, obviously uh, scared about coming to the bar with me. But I have a lot of stuff to do, so it's going to be quick. I'm, I'm even happy you considered because I was thinking not coming to the bar myself. Okay, um, it's, um, it's about, it's about the house. My house? Yes, you see, that's the thing. Your house, I think it's, it's only normal. I, I get a place of my own. So, you want to get a place of your own? My little brother wants to leave me behind. No, <laughs> don't put it like that. Look, it's... I just can't keep relying on you for everything. Am I complaining? I know you're not, but you have to understand. It's not as if I don't appreciate the fact that you took me into your own house and you even allowed me to bring in my wife too. And also gave you a job in my company. Yes, that also, of which I'm very grateful for. But I, I and my wife, we are expecting a child. So I think it's only normal. I get a place, no matter how small, at least I'm moving with my family. You know, I'm really happy to hear what you just said. <clears throat> so, um, you've uh, saved enough money to move out and start a new life of your own. Um, that's equally why we're having the conversation. See, I... I need a loan. I mean, you can take it out from my salary every month. I don't mind. <laughs> Not going to happen. Why? Because I don't want you to go through what I went through as a child. But um, <laughs> it's okay. You are my brother. It is good that we stay together. Okay. Is there something else behind this? Is my wife giving you any problems? Because if she is, I will deal with her summarily. No. Nothing of such. Good. Then this discussion is over. But I still think... Case closed. There's nothing more to say on the... Hey! Lilia, my darling, how are you? Yeah, I've missed you too. When? Uh, maybe later on. I have a lot of stuff to do for the day and uh, when I finish, I'll come to your place. Hmm? Keep it very, very warm for me. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Brother. I'm still talking to Lily. Look. I think it's 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 not right. I, and I noticed you don't even wear your wedding ring anymore. You know you're married. Your wife, she's an amazing lady, and she doesn't deserve this. Well, um, you should know as a married man that you should learn to keep some things to yourself and mind your own business. And while we're speaking on the subject of marriage, um, my wife must not hear about this. We don't want to put your job in jeopardy, do we? Anyway, I'll see you later. Don't forget... I'm waiting for you in the office. I don't get it. He wants you to be his slave forever. 
to always be under him. I guess so. I just got an email that I'm to go to Port Harcourt on Monday. Why must they send you to Port Harcourt every week? Why? I can see the imprint of that wicked girl in him in this. Yes. That woman doesn't like having you around. Sharon. What? Leave my brother's wife out of this. That woman is a witch. Babe, do you know she tried harming my baby? What? Yes. When? This morning. I was in the kitchen. You know? Minding my business, she brought Unzu and wanted me to swallow it. You got me scared there. Sure. She might not be as exposed as you are, okay? She's actually acting on her knowledge. Look, she doesn't even know the side effect of what she gave you. Come on. That's all. <laughs> Don't be deceived by her innocent face, oh. That woman is wicked. But anyways, I am fully prepared for her. Sharon. What do you men know? You know nothing. But just sit back and watch both of us sort this out. Sharon, please. I don't want you to cause any trouble in this house. Remember we are guests. Can you just stop being a coward for once in your life? Um, how is my baby? Baby's fine. Yeah, come here. Mm, come. Everything will be fine. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, meet Sandra, the new aide to this house. She will be doing the cleaning and other chores in this place. Sandra. So? Imem, my wife, and Sharon, my sister-in-law. You will be taking directives from them. Hmm? Okay, sir. Mm. Nice to meet you, Ma. You're welcome, Sandra. So, um, then you can show her to the room of quarters. Baby, do you think um, hiring Sandra as a new aide is a good idea? I have no reason to think it's a bad idea if it's to help you out with the house chores and all that. We've been coping with the house chores and all and nobody's complaining. Me, I think this hiring of Sandra's and it is, is quite suspicious. A young lady comes to my office begging for any form of employment just to keep body and soul together. I don't have any position for her in my company, so I magnanimously think of you and decide to Bring her here to help you out in the house, under your supervision. Now tell me what is suspicious about that. Th that's not what I'm saying. Well, what I'm saying is that... Sandra is... She, she, she's quite sophisticated for this kind of job. In plain terms, she, she, she's too attractive. You know? 
In plain terms, you feel threatened. Me? Hmm. Whatever. She, she's not going to come into this house. She, she stays at the boys' quarters. As your leadership commands, so shall I do. So, babe, yeah. what do you think about this Sandra's arrival? Sandra. Oh, the new aid. <laughs> Great addition, I must say. Hmm. Great addition, indeed. Or oh, you mean a new test trap for the married men in this house? Test trap? Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? I mean, just take a good look at her. There is no way the married men in this house will not start drooling over her. <laughs> it's not funny. Uh, come on, babe. Sure. Come on, cut off this. All the men in this house are married. Except for Ugo. So, relax. Something can happen. Hmm. Indeed. Mm. I know some married men who still cheats. You do? Yes. Okay. Names, please. Let me just tell you. I have my eyes on you. It's not funny. <laughs> Babe, relax. You're just being dramatic. Mm. Relax. Ah. <laughs> mm. uh. so, you what? <laughs> I wanted to tell you. Ah, mm. mm -hmm. uh, I love you still. <laughs> to yourself what's going on here why are you dressed like this are you going for a party or a night club i don't understand tell me why are you dressed like this i'm sorry ma'am I'm, I'm just used to dressing like this sorry for yourself listen and listen good this mode of dressing it will not work not in this house do you understand yes yes I won't so, have you dressed like this, seducing our husbands. Um, I mean, my husband. Sorry, Now, ma. get in there and change! Sorry, ma. See yeah. her. She, she, she wore, wore skin biscuits. In whose house? <laughs> right under my nose. Nonsense. Um, babe. Yes. When are you coming back? I'll be back in four days. Make sure it's not more than four days. <laughs> Cheers. Okay. Come Have on. a safe trip. Mm. Ah. Ugo, open the gate. Ah. <sighs> 
Uh, okay, what will be the problem? I, I, I just don't understand. I parked this car myself yesterday. I don't know why it's acting up this morning. Yeah, make a check up. This car never do like this before now. Uh, hey! A serious problem, Oga. Three fuse line bomb. Three. What? Ah, this motor no go feel move. What? Ah, see, I'm like, don't burn. Your talito don't shift, don't fall down. You, you climb gallop. Can you fix it? Ah, no. This one passed me, Oga. Now, now, big mechanic, you need to do this kind of thing. Mechanic with experience. Ah. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Late. How am I going to do this? Hi. This one's serious, so. Oh, gosh. Hey, good morning. Um, good morning, madam. What's going on? Uh, madam, uh, that's a serious matter. I've had three very important fuse that I don't burn inside this motor. Oh, this motor don't feel move. So what are you going to do now? I, I don't even know. I'm, I'm confused. Look, I'm supposed to drive this car to Port Harcourt and now look, I don't even know what to do. I don't know. If this guy is giving you a problem, why don't you sell it off? It's not my car. It belongs to the company. <laughs> yes, I know. And is your brother not the owner of the company? <laughs> Come off it, I was just teasing you. Um, do you know what you're going to do now? The, your best bet is to take a public transport to Port Harcourt. Yes. Don't worry, just come along. Let me drop you at the park, okay? Come on this. Uh, bro. Well, I better advise you. Thank you. This is what the logo should do. Look out for this. Forgotten the key to my supermarket in the house. Wait, are you sure? Did you did you look for it? What? No, that's what I'm doing. It's not here. We need to go back. Let's go and get it.
This one? This one? This one, what is the problem? Talk to me now. Can't you talk to your brother's wife? What is it? Talk to me, this one. Everything is wrong! Everything is wrong! What do you mean? I went in there. Okay. I saw. I saw. What did you see? I caught my brother in bed with my wife. Can, can you imagine that? What are you saying? What are you saying? And he was not even showing remorse. He was standing his ground as if what he did was right. me. Babe. Babe, look into my eyes. Babe, look at me. I swear I don't even know how I got upstairs in the first place. Please believe me. Your brother must have used some kind of drug to hypnotize me. I, I swear, I love you. Believe me, please. How? Hmm? How? How am I supposed to believe you? Hey, you know me too well. I used to. Not anymore. You say you don't love me anymore. Don't even try to blackmail me. Don't. You know I will always love you no matter what. But you have to understand that I need to believe you're telling me the truth. I swear. I swear. Your brother hypnotized me. I swear on my life. I swear on my head. I swear on my woman. I swear on everything that I've got. Your brother hypnotized me. I don't know. I don't even remember how I got into that room. I swear on my life. Your brother hypnotized me. I swear. I will swear. Let me open to Sam's. I will stop. swear. Stop. Leave me. Let me it's okay. swear. It's okay. Me... No, no. Leave me, let me swear. I will open sands and swear. It's fine. It's, it's okay. Give me the Bible. It's okay. Look, it's, <laughs> it's not like I don't believe you. This is difficult for me. My brother. My brother. The one who saw me through school. My brother who put me in this office, who gave me a company to work with. My brother. Remember? He sponsored our wedding. He gave us this house. He was like a role model to me. This is so difficult. That's why we have to do everything we can to leave this house. Now I understand. Why he refused me moving out of this house so that he could get a chance to lure you to his bed? Ah! What a wicked and evil brother! Straight in the face. What is so spectacular about your face? I should look at it. You should be so ashamed of yourself, Bessie. How could you? Your younger brother's wife for crying out loud. 
All those girls you sleep with, they are no longer enough for you, for you to go so low as to sleep with your younger brother's wife. I have no idea what you're talking about. Where are you going? Don't. Don't you play that card with me. I have not asked you to go anywhere, so you dare not move anywhere at all. I cannot sleep with you or stay on the same bed with you after what you have done. Inem. If you walk out that door, you will lose all entitlements as my wife. So what I'll advise you to do is to put all your things back into that closet. Come back to bed and stay here with me. Not finish me. Mm. Mm? Oh, Number yeah. four. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't stop. <laughs> now listen and listen good. My husband must not know about this. Do you understand? Yes, yes, yes. If you open that mouth of yours and say a word, you are done for. I'm sorry. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'll see you soon. All right. Why you think say you go? I'm huh? stepping out. Nobody step out, now step in. Ah. You go see the stepper. See, see, see. Ugo, I don't have strength for you this hot afternoon. You don't sink finish. I say you need to go anywhere. Ross, come out. I want to go. Ten of you no go feel make me open this gate. Oh, you lose again level for this house. Now we get this house. You need to go anywhere. Ugo, open this gate. I hear you. Ugo, open this gate. Go open this gate. Go open this gate. Go open this gate. Go open the gate. Go open the gate. Go open the gate. You're not going to go anywhere. Go. You are going nowhere. What's, You're not... what's going on there? Uh, uh, nothing, no, boss. Uh, sorry, sir. Open the gate, no, my friend. No, she, she won't come out. I said, I can open the gate for her. Something must be wrong with you. Uh, sorry, ma. Yeah, no. uh, sorry, sir. He got. Thank you, sir. You eh? I will catch you. No worry. <laughs> yeah, for the first. Yes, so. I, I hope you added salt. Of course, I Just did. Just a little quantity, like I said. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like too much of salt. You yeah. love it. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, I trust you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. Good yeah, afternoon, Yes, the food is ready. <laughs> Just a minute to get you cutleries and then a glass. Thank you. 
idiot. Come, you have to wonder your husband though. He doesn't have respect for his elders. Does he know that before he gets to that office, I can make a phone call and he'll get a sack from... Ah. Yes, can you get me a property lawyer, please? A trusted property lawyer. The one thing I want... You are in trouble. Yes. <laughs> What are you trying mm -hmm. to do? No, no. Stop, stop it. Stop. Do you want the whole room to start smelling cigarettes? Don't you know you're going to pollute the air with this cigarette smell? And what if he comes in? He's going to smell it and he knows I don't smoke. Sharon, what is your problem? You know how it is anytime I finish it. My nerves are really shut up. Eh? I need something to calm me down. You don't need anything to calm you down. You're just being addictive. Call it what you like. Eh? On a more serious note, do you know that this thing can kill you? Well, there's only one way to find out. What does not kill me can only make me stronger, as you can well attest. I pity you. <laughs> do you have any idea how many chemical substances is in one stick of the cigarette? Do you? Over 4,000. Yes. Sharon, Sharon. MSc Industrial Chemistry. You are never ever tired of flaunting your knowledge. Okay, I acknowledge you. Oh, industrial chemist, Sharon. I'm only stating the facts. Okay, no problem. Since you will not let me uh, distribute all the 4,000 plus chemicals, let me go and distribute them out there. Mm -mm -mm. Come, come. We need to talk. We need to talk. What do you want to talk about? Um, okay. I was thinking, since your wife has left, what plans do you have for us? I don't get you. Well, you don't expect us to continue this way. So what plans do you have for me? Shara. Hmm? What exactly are you talking about? I am talking about marriage. I deserve to be your wife. Let me show you all the things that you've been missing. Yeah, I was thinking it was all about the money. Sharon? Sharon! Where is everybody? Are you 
okay? No, really. There's something I need you to help me with in the kitchen. Okay. We do that after I have my shower, okay? No, no, you can... You have to help me now, then later you have your shower. Please. Okay. Let's go. Thank you. Here. Wait, wait, hold on. Is that what you want to show me? Uh-huh. Babe, I'm honey for you. I want it here. Come on, babe. Look, come on. Oh. Wait, wait. Well, we are bomb yourself instead. I need to go and take my shower, okay? Okay. Seriously? Wow. So you mean you've kicked out that nasty, ugly bitch out of your home? I'm telling you. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's my baby. That's my baby. Wow. That calls for celebration. She walked out herself. Oh, okay, darling. Okay, baby. You know what? I'm just going to go home right now pick up my things and I'll be with you in a bit. This calls for celebration, darling. I'm expecting you already. Sure, baby. Just give me some minutes. I'll be with you shortly. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, baby. I'm here to see Benson. Oh, 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 I see. You are his brother's wife, right? The one who is two months pregnant, huh? Yes, that would be me. All right. So you go in there and tell Benson that Lillian is here to see him. Okay? Lillian from the way. Shara. Yeah? Let her in. Oh, that's Big Daddy's voice. Daddy said he should let me in. Daddy said he should let me in. Let me in. That's an order from the Big Daddy.
Herbie. Mm, so many. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Alright, come on, let's go upstairs. Oh, uh, Yes. Who is this lady and what does she want? Uh, Sister-in-law. I'll explain later, okay? Hey, hey don't say anything, darling. Let me help you. The new crown queen of this household. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to him. <laughs> oh, you are not talking to me, right? Okay, let me educate you a little bit. From now onwards, when you want to speak to Benson, you have to go through me. And darling, you better get used to that, okay? Benson, what's the meaning of all this? Come on, dear, let's go. All right, darling. Go on, go on, go on. What's inside it? Everything. You brought all the toys? Hey! Three saw coming up. Hello? Hey! Hi, Desmond! Um... Lillian? Yes, Lillian? Yeah? What are you doing here? And I'm live here. <laughs> I don't understand. What do you mean you now live here? This is now my new home. Desmond, were you not the one who referred to me as a sad chick? You see, it's a small world and the world is full of journeys, right? Now the rejected stone is suddenly the cornerstone. Are you aware my brother is married? Your brother, Benson, is married. Wow. I never said anything about his wife. But since you decided to talk about her, let's talk about her. Where is she? Hello, wifey. Hello, wifey. Can you hear me? Wifey. Wifey, wifey. I cry. I cry. Hello, wifey. Can you hear me? Where is the wife? Wifey, wifey, can you hear me? Oh, wifey, oh, wifey, oh, okay, oh, wifey. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, babe. Did you notice the new lady in the house? <laughs> so how? What's going on in this house? Ask your brother. I don't know where he brought that girl from. Crazy girl. I don't, I don't just get it. This was the same reason why the wife left. And instead of him to go and apologize and bring her back to this house, he's indulging himself with another lady. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't even know where he saw that crazy girl from. I know her, I know her. They've been dating for a while. Huh? You what? I know her. You know her from... He introduced us at some point, but that's not the point. That is the point! Why didn't you tell me that he was cheating? Why should I tell you? Am I not your wife? You were supposed to tell me when you found out that he was cheating. 
I don't have to tell you anything. He was cheating on his wife. Besides, it's not as if you're the one he's cheating on. It doesn't matter. Cheating is cheating. And a cheating man should be exposed. You're right. Uh -huh. Every cheating man should be exposed. And every cheating woman too. What are you trying to insinuate? Nothing. Hey, how are you? How are you? Is that it now? So you're going to greet me casually like we don't have something going? I don't understand you. You don't understand me? You have been avoiding me since that useless girl came into this house. I have not been avoiding you. I've been busy. Quite busy. You've been quite busy. Too busy for me. But not busy for her, right? <sighs> Look, I don't know why you're antagonizing Lillian so much. No, I think you do. What is your business with Lillian? I mean, for the past one week that she's been here, I mean, she has been avoiding you and um, has not even come to disturb you in your room. So, I don't know why you're worrying so much over her. Ooh. I get it now. I understand. You're done with me. Right? You used me and you dumped me. Now you are done with me. Sarah, go home. You see, things were going my way until that useless good for nothing girl. Hey, 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 it is you and your entire generation who are useless. And your mother regretted the day you were. Hey, 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 I don't even know. Did they really fight it? Eh? Oh my goodness. What Benson <laughs> saw in you. Listen, you have no place in this house. And here I am still standing strong. <laughs> Not for too long, darling. <laughs> Listen, I've been minding my business since I came into this house. Staying on my name, avoiding any open confrontation with you, nasty girl. But I see you don't want peace, right? You don't want peace. <laughs> it's no. simple. If you know you want peace, simply pack your things. Alright, so you want me to leave? Because you think I don't know what you've been up to. You have been cheating on your husband with Benson. You nasty girl. Go digger. You're so shameless. You think Benson will marry you? No way. No way. I'm not leaving this house. I am not leaving this oh, house. You will you leave, leave this, this house. house. I am not leaving this house. You are going to. You house. will leave this you house. house. You are the one that will leave this house. You will leave this house. What do you want? Who on earth are you and what are you doing in my house? <laughs> Your house? This is my husband's house and I don't entertain intruders. <laughs> so, who is the intruder here? Look at where you're standing and look at where I am standing. So you tell me, isn't it obvious who the intruder is? Well, for your information. Benson and I are still married. We are not divorced yet. So I still have a right in this house. <laughs> not for so long, darling. Not for so long. 
Benson is such a big. So, this is what he could bring as a replacement for me. Excuse me? <sighs> Pathetic. You are not even worth it. Joke. Uh, what's going on here? I came to pick the rest of my belongings. All your things belong to Lilia. Even the things I bought with my own money? Did I not tell you? But I told you, didn't I? That the minute you left this house and move outside, you lose all entitlements to be my wife. Did I not tell you? Can I at least take my jewelry? Okay, well, maybe you can. Oh, no, 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 darling. Not the jewelry. She can have everything else but not the jewelry. I like the gold bracelets and the trinkets. And all the jewelry, darling. <laughs> you heard her. You cannot take the jewelry with you. Matter of fact, you cannot take anything with you. Well, um, I actually thought you came here with the divorce papers, you know, to make this official. Divorce papers? Do you have them? No. Oh, ah, so sad. Okay, so please try and remember to bring them next time you come, okay? And uh, this is where I say goodbye. <clears throat> I'm sorry to tell you, of course you should know by now that you have lost all rights to come inside this house. You cannot come here again. So you see how you managed to sneak into this compound, sneak out of here the same way. Matter of fact, I don't know how go managed, how managed to get past to go to get inside here. In other words, I'm saying goodbye. A bientôt. Arriva hmm? Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Listen, you heard him. You heard him clearly. He said he should walk out of this place, but I am actually telling you to run. Run, baby, run. <laughs> I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I'm loving it. <laughs> he doesn't want you. Out. Out. What I just said. Uh, uh, What's wrong? I don't understand any of this. You understand what? Where did you get this from? I saw it inside my shirt. How did you get there? I don't know. But would you mind explaining to me what this is? How am I supposed to know? You just gave it to me. How could I work? 
You got my wife pregnant! Mercy, even before our wedding. And you know very well that she belongs to me. She's mine. She belongs to you. My hey, brother, your wife never belongs to you. She merely used you to get through to me. But Lillian was right. Sharon is nothing but a gold digger. I am not a gold digger. Sharon. Why? Why what? I loved you. Oh, please. Don't be such a crybaby. So what? You took advantage of that? Hmm? I took advantage of you, Desmond. You have been the one taking advantage of me since we were children. Through primary school, secondary school, university, I gave you your job in my company. I housed you in my own house. No, my brother. You have been taking advantage of me. But I'm your brother. Exactly. We are brothers. You have been benefiting from me all this while in every single way. One little thing I want to have an advantage of you, just one benefit I'm asking of you. Is that so much to ask for? My wife? Desmond, why are you so selfish? I mean, must everything be all about you? Okay, who is going to take care of me when I'm old? Hmm? Everything does not always have to be about you. Why must it be my wife? <laughs> well, come to think about it, I'm actually doing you a favor. See, your wife. Sharon confided in me that you do not service her well in bed. And so, to keep this shame in her family, I had to cover it up and do your job myself. Yes. My what, beloved you, brother. You, stop it! Keep it! Are you crazy? Can you just stop? Oh, oh. Oh, stop it! I'm older than you! I will beat you any single stop. time! Stop! I'll show you! Bastard!
हेलो सा हेलो हेलो सा हेलो सा द क्लब इज क्लोज इज दे ब्रेक इट्स दे ब्रेक Your, your brother. brother. Exactly. We are brothers. Why, Why must, must it be my wife? wife? What are you doing? Is it crazy? Hello? Uh, listen, listen, listen. Desmond is trying to commit suicide. Yes, yes. Okay, Desmond, stop. Stop. No, 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 please stop. No. No. Stop, please. Let me die. No, no, please. No, you no go fiki yourself. Why you go kill yourself? I have no brother. Stop, stop. I have no wife. I'm worthless. Please let me stop die. It, stop it. Stop, stop it. This month. Stop. 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 <gasps> Why did you come to me? Come to you? Yes. You're not even my in-law anymore. But that doesn't mean we can't be close. Come on. Can't be close. Don't even pretend that you, you don't know all the evil that is happening in this house. Of course I do. I am aware, but I don't allow it to get to me. You do? Really? You are aware of all the things that are happening in this house? Oh you know everything that is happening in this house and you couldn't tell me? Oh God, there's more. Take a miss. Don't you worry yourself too much like this. See, this glass. Calm down. You must not kill yourself now. Eh? Solution will come. 
Listen. You don't have to worry yourself about people who hurt you or hate you. You should focus on people who love you because that's where your happiness lies. Okay? See, Desmond, I'll take you somewhere now. What is this place? This is my surveillance room. What exactly do you do here? Monitor every activity in the house. And also plan my ultimate vendetta against your stupid brother. What was that supposed to mean? You see, Desmond, there is something I need to tell you. Okay. I knew about your brother's affair with your wife. Even before you got married to her. I also knew that the pregnancy was not yours. So, you knew. Why didn't you tell me? What would you have done? Your brother has many girlfriends, although Lillian was the most desperate of them all. So, you see everything that happens in the house? Mm -hmm. I also planned everything that happened to you. I, I don't understand. The day you were supposed to travel to Portacot, I instructed Ugo to tamper with the engine of the car so it won't start. I wanted you to ride with me so we can go back to the house for you to see what you saw. I was also the one who planted the pregnancy results with the help of Ugo here in your room for you to see. Ugo. So, so you, you two, you're, you're, you're involved in this? Oh, Ugo here is the powerhouse. He actually designed all the systems we're using here. I know you're surprised, but what has to be done, has to be done. Um, this here is a strategic mini workstation. In there, the specific cameras, professional cameras that could see every nook and cranny of the house. Uh, wait, Ugo. So you can speak correct, simple English? Ugo is a computer science graduate, a network engineer by profession. I'm good, I'm sweet. Hey. Wait, what is Sandra doing here? Sandra is actually Hugo's girlfriend. I also planted her in the house for a purpose. <laughs> wow. Wow. This is so funny. Oh my God. You know, I wonder what you're still doing in this house. <sighs> As you can see, I am pregnant for Benson. And that makes me the first lady of this house. You lied. You lied, darling. You shameless gold digger. Stop forcing yourself on Benson. He doesn't want you. I am the one he loves, okay? For your information, darling, it's just a matter of time before he kicks you out of this house. You see, he's only going to use you and dump you. That makes me the real wife. And you? 
You're nothing but a side chick like you have always been. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, darling. I understand your pains. You are really frustrated. But let me tell you this. You're frustrated because you've lost everything. You've lost Desmond. You've lost Benson. You have everything lost and gone out of your life. And the only thing you have right now in this world is nothing but this thing in your tummy. And bet me, bet me, it's a matter of time. You're still going to lose that bastard. Shameless gold digger. Let me warn you. Leave this house and leave my man alone. This is going to be my last warning. <laughs> Nonsense. You leave this house. This is my Zadi's house. You pack and leave. Leave. So, what next? We wait until he gets drunk. Excuse me, what are you doing here? Let me in, I need to see Benson. And why do you want to see Benson? <sighs> the divorce papers are ready, I need to give him to them. I need him to sign them. Wow, the divorce papers are ready. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, now can I have it? I'll go give it to him and he will sign it with immediate effect. Thank you. Hey, baby. Benson. Benson, baby, wake up. Babe. Oh, baby, stop sleeping. Wake up, wake up, baby. The divorce papers are here. Come on, baby. Wake up, baby. Yeah, the divorce papers are here, honey. You need to sign them. Please, 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 baby. Wake up. Please, please, baby. Get up. Yeah. Please do that. Where is the... Baby, please. This is not the time to be slumber, please. Cheer up. You need to sign it before she changes her mind. It's okay, baby. Just two seconds, you'll be done with signing it. I'm gonna help you. Yes, baby. I'm here, baby. Sign once again. I'm not in the office. I'm in the bathroom. I know, baby. Just the divorce papers. You can sign it and continue your shower and the trends running away. I think you need more. That's my baby. Yeah, ben. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh. I sign it also. On paper. Yes. <sighs> he has signed it. Now, can you leave us alone, please? So, my dear, congratulations to us. Okay. Now he has nothing. <laughs> Thank you so much. 
I don't know why you gave me all those things. I wanted to ask, what's in it for you? <sighs> Seeing dancing ruined is enough satisfaction for me. Anyway, let's not talk about Benson. Let's toast to success. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to success. Success. Mm. Mm. Success takes real good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, mm -hmm. now that we got rid of that nasty, ugly woman, what are we going to do about Sharon? What do you have in mind? Send her away. I can't do that now. She's carrying my child. Come on, baby. That's the problem. She's been trying to hold you at ransom with that pregnancy. So you shouldn't fall for that. And again, she's been threatening me. Why? I don't know, baby. I just don't know why Sharon has been giving me trouble in this house. You know, she's very desperate. And she can do anything whatsoever just to have in her life. She even told me that, that you just want to use me and dump me and then she will step in as your wife. Uh, don't worry, I'll, I'll sort her out, okay? No, baby, I'm worried for my safety, baby. I don't feel safe in this house, baby. Come on. She's so desperate, and honestly, she is very, very violent. Yes! She's huh? She's Shut up! Whoa, 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 wait, 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 Please, stay away from this, okay? Let me deal with this intruder myself! Wait, wait, I will, I will no, kill you! Did I not warn wait, you? Wait, 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 Did okay. I not warn you? Shut you think up. you can just come into this uh, house and take over my own mouth? I will, I will! Stop it! Hey! No, 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 no! Please, leave me alone! Shut up, drop the knife! Leave me alone! Shut up, drop the knife! Shut up, drop the knife! Drop it! 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 Oh, 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 Tell this man to take this thing off my hands. Do you know who I am? I am the CEO of KT Global Investments. Not anymore. What? Just one. I fired you. You fired me? Bro, well, you transferred the papers to this house and the company to me the moment you signed that divorce document. Remember what you once told me. If only you can be as heartless as the first man that landed on the moon, then there is nothing impossible for you to achieve. So, okay! Hey! 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 Wait, 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 wait,